Paul, we uh, come away with a, a point against Birmingham. What kind of point is it for you? Um, it's a good point. Uh, in ways, it's a good point. In some ways, it's not, because I felt we deserved three points. I felt we were the better team. Um, I felt we had created some good chances. Sometimes the ball would just fall first in the box. Um, but when you kind of think of the start that we had, you know, very disappointed not to get come away with three points. Um, and, you know, we come out of the stalls really quick, and that mean, if, it's so nice, it was so nice to see that all the fans, and that mean, it was, it was such a great showing from them. And the thing is, they understand the situation now. And, and they kind of, the atmosphere was great from the first whistle. And so to get the early goal after, what, six minutes, wherever it may be, and what a goal it was. Yeah. Some great football stuff and great finish from AC, who doesn't really get the credit for how good he is technically. Um, you think, go on, let's go and push forward and get the second. And then for some reason, we, we went passive. Sat back, sat back. And this is something that just speaking to players and ex-players, that historically we've done this this club. Every time we go go up, they want to defend it. And you can't change that man mentality. Um, and we're trying to get them up, get them up, get them up. And that allowed them to get control of the game. And the momentum changed. And um, the goal we give away is, is poor from us, to be fair. We don't stop the cross. We, we know what's coming is right foot. We showed them time and time again. And then we don't mark in the box. We've got one or two men in the box max. And, you know, it's a, it's a great header, but we should be doing better that defensively. And, <clears throat> you know, towards the back end of the first half, we get back the momentum. Uh, but then the whistle comes in the right time for them. Uh, but I said to them at half time, I said, guys, listen, do you want to win this game? Because this is a great opportunity for you to go and win this game. But really, you won't, you won't get a bit of opportunity. Um, and um, we looked like we, we wanted to do that second half, you know. They looked a bit tired, you know, we looked really tired towards the end, but we put in such a shift. Um, so, to, you have to have that find the line from we want to go and win the game, and then you think they break, you think, Jesus Christ, please don't lose the game. You know, and, that, and that's the find the line as a manager, and I think um, when you think about we lost five on the bounce before that, you know, to come back and be unbeaten in three, yeah, I know there have been three draws. But they've been, you know, one against Hull were decent. We still sit away. And again, Birmingham, we've had two wins on the bounce. Beat Blackburn last last throw. They're not easy games at this stage of the season. But then you're looking at what we've got on the pitch. We're relying on the same players. Same, same players. And, um... <laughs> same, same players. And, um... You can see that was, that was on the Henshaw towards the end. You know, I mean, that was absolutely knackered. So, um... And we got Oxham to go again on Monday, so... When, it, and when an opposition team wins, like Huddersfield win, you know what I mean, it, it kind of demoralises you, but it shouldn't, you know what I mean, because that point today really kind of gives a little gap from Wigan and Blackpool, Blackpool you know, and what you want to do as a, um, when you're down there fighting for relegation, um, it's just go at one team, you don't want two or three teams that could get you past you. Um, so as we're looking in the table, um, as we're looking in the table, we're in the bottom three, it's not really aesthetically a good thing to look at, but I think we know we've got plenty of opportunities to pick up points. It's important we keep the confidence. It's important we keep this fantastic crowd that we've had today. We've got next game's going to be Burnley, I think, at home, so it's going to be tough. But I think we can beat anybody at home. I really, really do. You know what I mean? Really, I really, really do. So, um, yeah, and that's what makes it disappointing, say, because you want to keep picking points up, and then you see the other team go, they've won, so we've drawn, but it's not like we've lost. You know, and we can't be defeats about that. I said to the players before the game, I said, we're in a situation that's not your, none of your faults. None of the manager's faults, none of the star's faults, none of the fans' faults, all right? But we can either make up we're victims or we can make up we want to be heroes. And that's what we have to be, you know, to keep this going. We have to be heroes. We could do something special, OK? So as much as we can, you know, work with our own self-pity, no, we have to be heroes for the next six, seven games. Um, and I thought when we came out, we, we looked we looked that way. We had that kind of motivation. So that must that must stay. We can't feel sorry for ourselves, all right. And we have to have that same approach. You now these players can do something special. And hopefully in the next two or three weeks, I might have two or three coming back. That's it. Because uh, as you said there, you know that players having to put so much energy. There's definitely no question about the amount of effort they're putting in. Yeah. But <clears throat> on, on a thin squad, that that's physically challenging, mentally challenging. Mm. And as you said there, there's that kind of stick or twister sometimes in games. You definitely don't want to throw it all away. So, yeah. as you said, points uh, they take us into it takes us into the Preston game, really. Yeah, it does. And you think you know you, you know keep your kind of not winning games at the moment. I'm kind of 
Obviously, we've got a good, good result against Blackpool, which kind of benefits, works for, for us to be fair, because it keeps Blackpool down now. Um, so, it's still going to be tight. There's going to be weeks where someone wins, someone loses. Things are going to change right to the wire, and, um, you know, we just got to keep on it. It's going to be tough because you look at their bench and they make three or four changes. We kind of have to bring the you know, kids on. It's, it's tough when you haven't got your players back. So, at the moment, you know, we've got Junior on the grass, we've got Tommy Mack back on the grass. I won't be ready for Preston, of course, but we've got Mama coming back on Monday, we've got Scott Dan. But we need some help, really, just when you look at the players at the end, they're just on their, on their, on their feet. And then you ask them to go again on Monday. So, you know, at least they're putting it, at least they're, no one can say these players are not giving it, are not putting it in for this, for this manager, and especially for these fans. Because you see it with your own eyes, there's no excuses. Um, but I would like to say, um, <clears throat> I thought the ref was poor, really, really, really poor. And, you know, someone just said to me, that's his third championship game. As I said, we're not an experiment with the football club. You know, we've got seven games and it's a business part of this season. You know, job's on the line. You know what I mean? It really, really is. And to think you can throw in a manager, I'm sorry, referee, his third game in a hot time game like this, when it's like squeaky bum time, you, you, you can't do that. You can't, it's, it's embarrassing. And I would say that to Kevin Friend. You know, we're not a toy where you can just get, he can get experience on, on, on the basis of us. You know what I mean, on the back of us, but, but that's not us. I don't like it, it should never happen. Um, but obviously he's done his calves, so I know she won't have him again for the, next, for the rest of the season. But some of the decisions he's making, I mean, he gave him four fouls and the tie wins the ball and he gives a foul. And I'm thinking, what are you doing? And that killed the momentum too, didn't yeah. it? Well, he killed any opportunity for momentum, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, exactly. Really, at that point in the game. And, 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 and I, 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 I'm, I'm one, you know, as I said, I know, Officiating is a tough, tough job to do. I get that. I'm, and I'm always one. Listen, sometimes, yeah, I get frustrated, like all managers do. But I understand it's a tough job. But when you see some of the decisions, I and mean, even our fans were like up in a roar because I just can't understand what is he doing? What is he seeing? And I, I, and I, don't, I don't get it. And it's not right. So we speak to Kevin Friend, we get a reason, subjective, objective, all this rubbish. But he was here today, I think, Kevin Friend. So if he's seen that performance today, it was an inept performance. And you don't, can't blame the referee because he's been thrown to a situation where he's only had two championship games. All right? Not good enough. So, and you're right, it, it kind of, in a way, it, did it spur us on? The crowd got were kind of a bit agitated and frustrated at him. Uh, and you're right, sometimes it stopped the momentum, which is no good for us. Uh, actually, just got to touch on it. Preston, as you mentioned, a couple of days' time. They're a team that are doing very well. Got another win again today against, against QPR, mm. and you know they're sort of battling top end. But like always, you know we're to that point and going to attack the game, see what we can what we can get from it, and fingers crossed. Listen, definitely. That, listen, that, I think when you look at Preston, we know they're very good away. I think they've shown that this season. Their away form, home form's not as good as their away form. Um, so we know they can go there and go there and get something out of their game. Um, and that's what we've got to do. We've got to go there. We've got to refresh. We've got to relax. Um, and try and get these lads up, lads up to go again, you know. If we can pick up a win, four points in two games, it's a good return leading into the Burnley game. But we'll be ready to go again. It's a tough arc, but let's go for it.